Hello my darlings, welcome to a new vlog. This is going to be a very shopping focused vlog. We're here in LA, I am just, oh, this sunshine is like magic nectar to my bones. It was raining and grim and miserable when we left London yesterday, but we're in LA, the sunshine state, and today, uh, starting, so we arrived yesterday, very jet lagged, woke up at midnight, 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. But we are starting off with a shopping trip at, I believe this place is called the Outlet at Orange. I will crack myself on the screen if that is wrong. We are here to shop, so that is what we're gonna do. So let's go shopping! <laughs> request we've popped into Bath and Body Works I feel like they just absolutely nail autumn here or fall harvest as the Americans would say and oh my goodness these candles look gorgeous we've got fresh balsam we've got harvest gathering sweet cinnamon pumpkin oh my god they all sound um, sound amazing I'm gonna do a bit of a sniff test maybe pick up a candle or two so these are also in their autumn collection or their fall collection they've got the most beautiful um, leaf patterns on the lids and I love these candle holders, they're stunning, I've got so many of them. Freddie's found a coral one, that's gorgeous. Oh, nice. It's actually beautiful. I've got this in like a similar rose gold. Beautiful, if it was yeah. rose gold I'd be tempted to look, it's an entire rose section. Beautiful. Okay, our next stop is Saks Fifth Avenue or Fifth. I think this is their outlet. Some of the stores here are outlet and some of them are just normal. Uh, so we're gonna go in here, see what we can find. And then there is Neiman Marcus over there, DKNY, Lint Chocolate, Starbucks, so many stores. Freddie's a happy bunny because she got her favorite shower gel in Bath and Body Works. Party! <laughs> Look how cute she is. It's time to do some more shopping. So much makeup. Gosh, I feel like you never see Tom Ford on sale. 60% off. It's beautiful. So coming to Saks, we found the designer sunglasses section. I've just picked up a gorgeous pair of Dolce & Gabbana frames. I'm not sure if they're discounted or not. They're $129, which I feel like is probably a little bit cheaper than DMG would normally be. How adorable are these? I've been looking for a really nice little retro pair because I wore my mango white one so much over the summer. It really annoys me. I can't tell how cute they look with that. Um, but I think I'm going to get these. I do also have in my little, um, we get these destination passports when you come to the shopping centres and they have additional vouchers in them or additional um, discounts. So I think I'm going to treat myself to some lovely pink sunny. Oh, now I can't decide which ones I like more. So these have got the most stunning side detail. It's got like gorgeous roses. I'm loving this cat eye shape. Which ones do you prefer? I've made a sneaky purchase. I got one of the two Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. I'm gonna yes. do like a what's um, a haul like at the end of it. So I'll show you which ones I got at the end. But I just picked up the most stunning cashmere jumper. It is so soft. In the shoe section and we have discovered the Stuart Weitzman discount area. Oh my goodness. I found what would be my perfect boot. They're in my size. They have got a slightly rounded toe, the perfect heel height. Um, but I have something so similar at home. I've got the black ones that come to just a little bit lower than these. Um, and without the tie at the back. So these are the Highland. And I have got the High Line, I think. I just don't need them. But if you do, and if you are in the market for Stuart Weitzman boots, then this is such a good way of getting them at a good price. We found the pink Burberry section. Sorry about the flickering lighting. How much is it? So we're in Neiman Marcus, and it is a really good outlet. Freddie and I both found very us white items. Ah, so this dress is Love Shack Fancy. It's very me. It's so perfect. It fits it. it's like a glove. It does, and I think with our voucher it works, which is like 40% off. It works at around $60. Freddie has found the dream coat. It's my life. It's, it's, this is my, it's so expensive. It's well, so you. It, 
it's we have a big discount. Also, yeah, I just, <gasps> it's gorgeous. I can't believe, I just, I'm just, that's so me to so like buy the first thing I see and then <sighs> it's heavenly. It's heaven. It's like snow. It feels it like a like cloud. Snow. It's like you're wearing a candy floss cloud. <gasps> gorgeous. <laughs> we love our first oh, discoveries. Ooh, so tempting. Let's try the next thing. Next outfit, and Freddie and I are both in love with our next choices. Oh, look how gorgeous this dress is on Freddie. It's a little Dior number, and it is just so you. The belt is a dream. The fit and flare, the A-line, the three-quarter length sleeves. Everything, I always wear long short sleeves, don't I? Yeah. I'm my sleeves up. On camera, it just looks... Show me the belt properly. Oh. Is it Dior, right? Yeah. <gasps> we were just saying in the changing room, we were we were born to be rich. We just... Filthy rich. <laughs> rich. Filthy rich. And a lot of money is wasted on people with bad taste. <laughs> Hashtag just saying. From dressing room. <laughs> and this is just oh, an absolute dream. Look at the way that it flows. This is... I'm wearing flat shoes. It's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's Dolce & Gabbana. I just want to stand here and swoosh. The day's on end. browsing, looking around some of the other yeah. stores. We've got to go into um There's a lot of cute dogs here by the way, that's a bonus. Yeah, that it's is a bonus. One here. And the weather is perfect. <laughs> it's actually such a nice place to like come and just walk around. It is. I love yeah, outdoor food. shopping centres. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Oh, should we go and um, cheer ourselves up in Cinnabon? Cinnabon. <laughs> yeah, let's go and get a Cinnabon. Never known anyone that has as much of a sweet tooth as me as you, <laughs> darling. <laughs> We're as shocking as each other. Just little leggings in airy. Look how retro they are. And they're 40% off, that's a pretty good deal. I love this pattern. I don't need any more gym leggings, but they are absolutely stunning. Cute little lacy brasiers. This would be gorgeous for lounging around the house in. So much nice loungewear. And for girls that work at home like us, we need cute loungewear. Smartwatch. It's going to be such a good way of getting it at such an insane price. Oh my goodness, there are so many gorgeous things in here. I could spend a fortune. I honestly could spend so much money in here. But I think what I've got is really practical. These are all under $100. Oh, got fashion as well. Show you my outfit 
of the day. I have got my coast blouse on and I'm loving pairing it with my little Zimmerman shorts. It's got a bow around the waist of the blouse and I've just tied it over the shorts, which I think pulls it in together really nicely. My Valentinos, because they're perfect for walking around and this shopping centre has over a mile of walking between the stores, which is insane. It's got over 200 stores in here, ginormous. And then I've got all my essentials in my little Prada basket bag. Ooh, and my sunglasses are Chloe. They're not super dark. Um, feel a little bit like Elton John in these, but I absolutely love them. So that's my outfit of the day. I have gravitated towards the pink coat. I have something very similar to this but in grey and I absolutely love it. This sadly is just too big for me, it's not meant to be, they don't have anything smaller um, but it's 60% off which is amazing. I just wanted to show you with it tried on because I love it. I love the detail on the buttons. Look at that. So stunning. I think if they had my size I'd be so tempted because it's 60% off um, and I love it but sadly it's a little bit too big. Oh, this is so cozy. I don't wear much black. I literally was thinking this would be such a nice one for like winter walks. It's got a bit of faux fur on the hood. I don't need this, but it's so nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Freddie and I are after oh. successful day shopping. I'm out of yes. breath. We, we need to have another lunch. Mine too. It's got stitch. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, you're in Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Yeah, We're baby. We have a Mamma Mia singathon. In Just the car. one look and I can hear a bell ring. One more look and I forget everything. Whoa, whoa. We're yeah. crazy. We're totally crazy. But anyway, on a totally loco. This is our shopping. Oh my goodness. How are we going to fly back to London with our luggage allowance? What's the plan, darling? Private jet? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I have to buy another suitcase. Well, actually, you probably could. Yeah. You have another suitcase on your thing. Yeah, I probably could. Sorry, sorry just brushing my head. I'm going to have to. <laughs> we should, yeah, and then I can put some of my stuff in it too. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. We've got a road trip to Palm Springs now, so I've got some cinnamon nuggets from Auntie Annie's. And an oat milk latte to go. Oat milk latte and some milk to go. Oat milk latte is what you need for a road trip to Palm Springs. Already because we got nachos. Okay, what's your best cheese joke? I'll do mine. What did the cheese say to himself in the mirror? Hello, me. Yes. Okay, you can do my punchline. Hello, me. Or, or, the king Oh my goodness, why are you saying that? Okay, you can do my punchline. Um, what do you say to the Mexican that stole your cheese? 
Okay, so you've never been to this That is nacho cheese. Yeah, <laughs> that is nacho cheese. <laughs> I'm too blonde. Uh, what else? <laughs> Um, I'm to think about oh, what happened when there was an explosion in the cheese factory? What happened? Debris everywhere. <laughs> We've had a long day. We got a bit delusional from too much shopping. And we were doing some francisizing <laughs> down the hallway. What is this one? Can I say I really confused you with the way you hold your camera upside down? No, it's so much more flattering. Every time I vlog, other people are like, Lucy, why is your camera upside down? It's so much more flattering. But anyway, we're now at the Ace Hotel, somewhere called, I think it's called the King's Highway Diner. We've got nachos, we've got popcorn chicken coming, and we've ordered a lot of food. Challenge accepted. I love refried beans. Good morning, my darlings. It is our first day in Palm Springs. So we had a lovely dinner last night, and uh, Freddie and I had a little sleepover. She came and stayed in my room because we wanted to chat. And now we have come out. We are going shopping a little bit later, but we've come first of all to one of the most Instagrammable places in Palm Springs. There's a little boutique here. Where is it? That way. It's called the Shops at 1345. So I'm just going around and getting some snaps before it gets too hot because apparently it's going to get it going to get up to 35 degrees today. So we're just hopping around, taking some photos. I've popped on the Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses that I got from the shopping center. Cute little outfit. So I'm going to show you my outfit today. So we have just got to the Desert Hills Premium Outlet. It's about 25 minutes out of Palm Springs. And as you may have noticed, I've changed outfits because it is a totally different climate here. It's actually, it's actually cold. And I was sweating earlier, it's bonkers. It's, it's like we've changed country, it's mad. And it was only a 25 minute drive. So that is the Californian desert for you. But uh, we're not bothered about the cold because there are so many amazing stores here. Gucci, Fendi, I can see a Bottega in front of me. We've just been into the brick store. So tempted to get another suitcase. Both Freddie and I collect the um, brick suitcases. I have the pink Bellagio and Freddie has the cream collection. And they are outlet price and then 40% off on top of that. So very, very tempted, especially as it would help me take all my stuff home. Um, but we are just making our way from like the more kind of high streety section, grabbing a coffee, and then we're heading it to the more premium section, which is across the road. And we're gonna pop in some of the designer stores. I'm hoping these clouds blow over, but otherwise we'll be back to Palm Springs this afternoon to do a little bit of sunbathing by the pool. In Marj, I've spotted this lovely pearl embellished jumper. Most of the things in the store have got 30% off the outlet price, so this is $235 with an additional 30% off. Very, very tempted. beautiful designs some of the classics like the Bayswater 50% off probably this little backpack
They have got some beautiful things. Wow, I'm just obsessed with basket bags. Amore. All of these super premium designs are the best products in them. The doggy collection. You don't have anything with sausage dogs on, do you? Only this doggy. Well, you're very cute. Very cute. Freddy's in love. That is spectacular. Try it. Yeah, you work on the they are beautiful. They have the most beautiful pieces in here. These are part of the peony collection. They've got the most gorgeous little swimsuits, bikinis. Oh my goodness, I love the pajamas, little silk camisole. This is about $200 off the retail price. Oh wow, oh wow. <gasps> Oh my goodness. We are in Dolce & Gabbana and Freddie and I are indulging ourselves by trying on our dream dresses. This is the most stunning silk number. Oh my gosh, and wait till you see Freddie's Hollywood dress. Where is she? Look, oh my goodness. <laughs> it is something else. Oh my gosh. That is just beautiful. Princess. We're in love. boots this pair is just the most gorgeous light gray taupey shade how are yours darling <gasps> that looks gorgeous it's such a nice color it looks really cute with what you're wearing now snow white autumn winter snow white that is gorgeous <gasps> i love them and they are a fantastic price as well these are actually a half size too small for me but that is a sacrifice i think i'm willing to take Metallic gold, and this is, I have always said, my favorite bag that I own, and I've never seen it in a store before. So beautiful! Oh my goodness.
did a quick outfit change. We were going to rent some bicycles around Palm Springs, but um, sadly the shop was closed. It was only open from 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. Very odd. Um, but Freddie and I have now come to El Paseo, which is in a district maybe 15, 20 minutes outside of Palm Springs. And we're just having a little mooch around, mostly just taking a few snaps. Um, and we're gonna be popping into a few boutiques as and when we see something that we like. But mostly we're just exploring, making the most of seeing a new part of California. Palm Springs and I think it's gonna be a couple of hours tour so we've just had our first stop we've come to this kind of like palm I mean I'm in the car park right now um, but it's like a palm oasis in the middle of the desert where the tribal Indians used to base themselves thousands of years ago we're gonna have a little look around find out some facts and some historical snippets of information and this whole scenery is absolutely stunning we've driven through some beautiful kind of like cacti fields and things like that it's getting toasty, hence the shielding my face from the sun. I can't wait to look around. We are going for a little trek down the Andreas Canyon Trail. It's a one mile loop. I think we're just gonna go as far as an oasis. It's very barren, very dry. I have got on my Chloe Susanna boots, which I feel are perfect for the occasion and for the gram. We have Freddie <laughs> wearing a Borg hound. Always glamorous, no matter where in the world we are traveling. <laughs> Plaza, and it's all rather stunning. So we're gonna have a little mooch around. Alrighty, hello, darlings. So we 
are in our beautiful new little hotel room in Palm Springs. It's called The Weekend and it's a really unusual place. It's like a kind of a motel but without the bad connotations of a normal motel. It's really chic actually. It's all around a courtyard with a swimming pool and we're just here for one night but it's a lovely space. That's where I'm chatting to you now. I thought I would just kind of end this vlog with what I bought during our time in LA and Palm Springs. Most of these things have been purchased from Simon shopping malls or outlets or mills. They have different categories which are um, an indication as to what kind of shopping center it is. I will try and remember which center each of these items are from. I would say I haven't gone too mad, but <laughs> if you saw mine and Freddie's Instagram stories with the amount of stuff we have with us, that probably indicates otherwise. I've managed to get most of it inside this giant bag, and yes, this is a big clue as to what my favorite purchase is, but in no particular order, I'm just gonna get started with the things that I have purchased. So, typically I'm not like obsessed with Bath and Body Works. I know some people are obsessed with it, like some people are obsessed with Lush, but Freddie wanted to go in to find a particular shower gel, so I just naturally started trying a load of different things. One thing which I don't have here, which is in the shower, is the White Jasmine Body Scrub. And I honestly think it's one of the best body scrubs I have ever tried. The scent is absolutely gorgeous. It's really thick, almost like a mask for your body, and really big exfoliating granules. So I really had a good scrub. My skin felt so soft afterwards and smelt heavenly. So that was my first purchase. And then we actually wanted to make our hotel room smell a bit nicer. So we picked up a couple of candles. This one is the White Gardenia, white balm scented candle. And then I also got another one which is wrapped up to give to Charlie and that's a really masculine scent which smells a little bit like the Abercrombie men's fragrance. I think it's fierce if you are equally as obsessed with that. Overall, I think everything was already an outlet price and then they also had a blanket 20% off most things in the Bath and Body Works. So we got these in the Simon uh, shopping outlet for a lot cheaper than what they would normally be on the high street. Actually, do you even have high streets in America? I don't know, the shopping promenade. <laughs> I also mm -hmm. went into Airy and they had some of the best discounts in there. One of the things I picked up was a strapless bra, which I'm actually wearing right now. One of my most, if not my most worn bra is from Airy. And it's just a strapless bra and they fit really nicely and they're really smooth. They come in all the nude colors, so they are great for wearing underneath your whatever outfit you want to wear. And then this, all the cardigans were 40% off. So I picked up this one and it's just, it's almost like a ballerina cardigan where it's got a little bow around the waist. And I just love wearing things like this at home. When it gets a little bit chillier, definitely don't need it here in Palm Springs. It's gonna get up to 34 degrees today. In the Ontario Mills Center, just outside of LA, we went into Kate Spade. They had some stunning pieces in there at fantastic prices, around 40 to 60% off. Freddie and I both picked up these gorgeous little bracelets. They are yellow gold bangles with kind of like a quartz material. I'll try and show you a little close up here. So I got the white and Freddie got a pink one and they will forever remind us of our trip to LA and Palm Springs. They're quite big and jangly, but I really love the look of them. I think they look very expensive and premium. And then I also picked up this gorgeous tote bag. I find tote, totes just very, very useful for putting my shopping in, for putting all my daily essentials in. This one's actually reversible. So this side of it has got beautiful little flowers and then you can flip it if you want it to be pure pink and it also has a little envelope clutch inside so i was very pleased with that purchase i think i saved about 50 percent with all the discounts included so this was actually my first purchase this was from the neiman marcus store or maybe even the nordstrom no i think it was neiman marcus at the outlets at orange another simon shopping destination they are dolce and gabbana sunglasses i tried on quite a few pairs they had a brilliant selection I would say full price, these would probably have been around $400, but I paid $100 for them. So still fairly expensive, but I mean they are Dolce & Gabbana at the end of the day. I just love this detail on the side here, and then they are like a white, almost tortoise print. And I absolutely love how they look. Very suitable for Palm Springs. I just think they're fabulous. And I was really pleased with them at that price. And weirdly, I just also love the case. Speaking of Dolce & Gabbana, when Freddie and I were in the Desert Hills Premium Outlet yesterday, we tried on the most dreamy items, one of which was a Dolce & Gabbana silk dress, and I have never felt like such a princess in my life. It was stunning. It was a great price if you normally shop in Dolce & Gabbana. It was around $2,000 saving, but it was still around $3,000, so I left it behind, but 
if I was a wealthy lady, then it would have been coming home with me. In the Ontario Mills, going back and forth here, I picked up this pair of flip-flops from Tory Burch. They were around 40% off the retail price. Really, really classic, um, just brown flip-flops with a gold Tory Burch logo on them. And I find Tory Burch footwear to be really good quality. I have a few pairs of Tory Burch shoes, so very happy with those. I used to have a pair of cream faux leather leggings from Zara, but they strangely went missing from my wardrobe. Cannot find them anywhere. Um, so when I saw these from, I think this was Neiman Marcus, the brand is Love Fire, or maybe it was Saks Off Fifth, which I think is like the discount version of Saks Fifth Avenue stores. They are faux leather, but these were, I think only $19.99. So it says $24 on this tag here, um, but I think they were reduced even further to 19.99. These were probably something that has been made specifically for that outlet store because there's no higher price on them, if that makes sense. But they're very stretchy and I will get a lot of use out of these with chunky white jumpers and things like that back home. A random one um, that picked up some toffee popcorn because it's tasty. And then, I think this is the last thing, I feel like I made a few really good purchases as opposed to loads of slightly more scatty ones, um, but my favourite purchase and the best bargain I would say is a new pair of Stuart Weitzman boots. It had so many amazing stores, it had Chloe, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi, Balenciaga, Bottega, there were so many premium stores it literally puts Vista to shame, huge Gucci, huge Burberry. Um, what doesn't put Vista to shame? It's on par with Vista, I would say. It's kind of the US version. And when Freddie and I saw the Stuart Whiteson store, we literally made a beeline to the overknee boots. I didn't need another pair of overknee boots, um, but I saw these and I loved them. And then I heard the price and I loved them even more. So without further ado, they literally come packaged and presented just like a normal pair of Stuart Whiteson boots and the store experience was just the same as a normal Stuart Whiteson experience. There was even a Mulberry store there and they had up to 50% off brand new bags. It was insane. So the boots that I got are these spectacular, I think they're called the Highland, no, these are the Thailand, I think. So it's a US size, these are a size five and they are over knee. They've got almost like a wooden effect heel. Can you see that there? and a very small sole, which is what I really like because sometimes Stuart Weissman boots can have a chunky sole, which is not quite as flattering. So these got a really, really nice little delicate sole. They're a little bit small on me, but for the price that I got these for, that is a sacrifice I'm willing to take. And I think these will look stunning with little dresses in the autumn season and winter, and I can wear them with thermal tights. And yeah, I just know that I'll get so much use out of these because I am the number one lover of Overney boots and they were around $270 and I would expect to normally pay over $500 for Stuart Weissman boots and they're a classic, they're an investment piece, you literally will have these your entire life and they elevate an outfit to so many new levels, I just adore them, absolutely adore them. So I wanted to do this little unboxing here as opposed to at home because I'm going to try and condense the boxes and bags and stuff. So that's all that I have picked up here in the US. So far, I may pick up a few other things, in which case it might be a little tag along to the end of this video. But I hope you enjoyed looking through these pieces. I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me in LA and Palm Springs. And everything that I have worn and have purchased where possible will be linked down below, as well as information about the Simon Centers, because they are definitely well worth a visit. But that's all from today's video, darlings. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Freddie's version of this video too, because she got some insane pieces. I'm not gonna give anything away, but let's just say, she nailed it when it comes to the bits that she picked up from the shopping centers. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.